You know, I was gonna film a super sweet intro for this uh, Computex vlog video thing I had planned, and then my lens fogged up. I can't see anything. That's actually kind of a cool. Oh, we got an extra layer. It actually looks layer. cool. It's like a reverse vignette blur effect. I might roll with this. So that there, with the giant NVIDIA sign, is the Nangang Exhibition Center, or at least the main hall. And we're gonna show you around, right, baby? We're gonna show them around? Of course. Okay. That's why I brought you here. Trying to film and step downstairs at the same time is really difficult. Do you think we can make that? We have 13 seconds. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're going for it. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh geez, oh geez, we're sprinting, we're sprinting. A few moments later. Nailed it. So we didn't get run over. So this is the show floor and it's super busy, super loud. We'll try to get as many good shots as we can. If the audio is trash, I'm sorry. We're working with what we got here. That dude's literally drilling a floor. What's up, Roman? Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Hi. Doing all right? The big highlight here for this uh, for this booth is the Alta F2. So uh, Tony, our rep here, was showing us a bunch of cool things about this. I'm actually gonna try not to break stuff while I do this, but uh, I would. Uh, uh, I hope, yeah. Oh yeah, is it? That, that, oh, it, it's a button. There's a button there. Nah, see, all right. So look at how much space you have. Not only for something like this is a, I believe a 480 mil, and it's it's four 140 fans uh, right here, and then under, underneath that you've got three 180 mil fans. So you have a push pull effect. These are included with the case. Look at that underneath there, tons of room for airflow. These, by the way, these dust filters are just magnetic. They pop right out. That is super cool. So unhindered airflow coming in from the bottom, and then you've got your motherboard off to the right and you've got your graphics card off to the left. There's actually three different places, I believe, to install a graphics card. You could do it conventionally there, up and down. You could also install further toward the back here, up and down, and then you can do it sideways like this. You can see it's slightly inclined toward the front, so I think it's 11.3 degrees of, uh, of tilt, and that is apparently supposed to help with temperatures. I don't, I don't know, that's what they said. Um, but all around, just tons of space to work with here. You can see all this extra room up top. You're gonna to have your rear I.O. from your motherboard routed into here. Uh, so you've got just a nice big chamber for all that heat to exhaust and all those cables to be routed. Uh, this case is just, I could go on and on. Now this is a really cool concept and I'll be honest, I don't even know the name of it. We just walked up to it, but I thought it was super clever. So a lot of AIOs just have your block here. This would be your block, typically your pump would be in here. And that's pretty much it. You know, the areas around the block don't really get any active cooling, and that's because the fans for a unit like this are usually positioned around the radiator, which is somewhere else in the case. But this sort of modular design allows you to tack on multiple smaller fans. These look like 80 or 100 mil fans. Actually, no, definitely smaller than 100 mil. Uh, but uh, they're literally just attached here by these uh, little pins. And then once you add however many you want, then you tack on the top of the block. This will have RGB support. You can rotate it however you need. And then you have active VRM, let's say cooling, or active memory cooling, and you can rotate these as far around as you want. So you can have you know, <laughs> two different fans like this, let's say, cooling different sides of your motherboard. And look, they've even gone above and beyond and added, what is this, like seven additional small fans around the block of a fairly large AIO. So uh, I think this is super cool. I haven't seen anything like it before, and it looks pretty unique. I'm not sure what we could do to make that look really good in a case, but I think the fact that it's even being offered as an option is pretty clever. Time for something a little different. We've stopped by the AeroCool booth. You guys probably know of AeroCool. They actually usually make uh, some more price competitive cases. We've worked with them in the past, but we really want to show you this one because it caught our eye when we were walking around. And uh, this is it's, it's sort of like a, a rebrand, let's say. This is the APNX lineup, AeroCool Performance Nexus is what it stands for. They're calling this the C1. And it just, it, it makes a statement right away. Baby, show them on this uh, other side here. They've got this nice contoured, kind of like curved front panel. It's actually one solid piece. You can see there's plenty of airflow baked into it as well. Perforations up and down with a dust filter as well. So you can see they've got a very large graphics card in here uh, and they're just showing how much space you have to work with. So technically a mid tower vertically mounted this. They also have room behind the graphics card for a full size reservoir 
And that's just, uh, again, just a demonstration of how much uh, room you have to work with here. And for some more chic colors, I'm not sure if this is blue or purple. In certain lights, certain angles, it looks purple. But uh, I really like the color, for sure. Is it, is it blue? Okay, but come on this side. Lisa's telling me that I'm colorblind. But, but look, look at it from this angle, okay? Now point up, point up. That's purple. It has a shimmer. See, there's a little there's a little flake in it. And this is actually one of the three primary colors that they're gonna be offering. So you can actually buy this C1 in this color, which is just awesome. There's nothing like this on the market that I've seen. Uh, the paint job looks really clean. And this is like just such a departure for Aeropool, making a premium case like this. It's gonna come with four 30 mil thick fans as well. Show them how thick these fans are at the rear, baby. These are really nice. So you get four of those included in a case that's gonna cost around 120 to 130 US from what I'm told. Uh, I think it's gonna be a very compelling uh, product when it does hit the market. Mm, you guys see that right there? 45 degree increments, nice solid clicks. Who other than EK? So we flagged down Dave here and uh, he showed us their new concept case with a beautiful build that he put together. Did you do it here on site? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Did, yeah in the oh. HQ. Golly, so it frankly was made a lot easier, I think, by the addition of these fittings here, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Matrix 7 helps a, helps a lot of you, and the concept of Matrix 7, 7 is just really nice to make things simple and make it easier for you guys to build into cases. And anything that's Matrix 7 compatible like this, you can put fittings in, save yourself any bending headaches and you're all good to go. So increments of seven millimeters, right? Yeah, yeah, so you've got yeah. seven, 14, 21, 28. The only one that isn't uh, increment of seven is our three mil offset. It's that one right there. this one down here. Yeah. And that one's actually just three mil and it just gives you enough movement for things like distribution plates where the graphics card will sometimes need three mil just to get it to the perfect line. Yeah. And so we did the three mil one as well. And this case here is a collaboration between EK and Inwin, correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Yep. So uh, we designed it, Inwin made it for us. Awesome. And these guys, uh, Inwin do awesome cases. They've always done really high quality and very versatile cases as well. And that's why we design this one like this. They have the ability to make something that we want to do. And on this one, the thing that we wanted to do is have it so that we could invert the case easily. So with this one, we can um, take out the motherboard tray, take out the power supply shroud, flip the whole thing over, and you can invert the case with just 10 screws, I think it was, that I, I had to remove. Um, and then you can invert it, put it back together, and everything's good to go. Mm, boy, look at that, look at that. That is, that is art right there. That's art. You see that? Beautiful, beautiful looking. You've not seen Alien before, have you? She hasn't seen Alien, Aliens, Alien Resurrection, Alien. I don't like There's a bunch Alien. Of, come on, it's good, that's classic, come on. I think I just lost Lisa. She's somewhere way back there. Like we said, it's extremely crowded, but it's good to see, you know, even in times when uh, oh, parts prices are going up a bit, it's becoming more and more difficult to justify building a crazy fancy PC. There's still a lot of enthusiasm in this space. That's a hanging computer, probably worth more than my entire life savings. You have companies like Gigabyte that feel the need to go all out with their displays. This entire booth, if you want to call it, I feel like it's a disservice to the brand because this is not really a booth. It's much bigger than that. The whole thing is a screen. Like, what is that? that that's, that's not even a PC. No, not the green one. No, 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 that one. Yeah, what is that? That is incredible. The level of detail on that. Oh my goodness. There's BenQ. You use BenQ monitors. How do you like them? They're pretty old. Still, still serve any well? Nice. You guys remember a really, really crappy case we reviewed, like, no, maybe a year or two ago. What's it called? The Kadir's? Forget the name of it. The Kadir's, uh, was it like a three? Oh man, I can't remember. We'll put a link to it in the description. Anyway, this guy here turned it into something beautiful. I don't know how you did that because you were working with literal scrap metal I seen, when you I, got it. I seen your the build you did on YouTube, man. <laughs> After I got the case, I'm just like, oh, you're probably God. like, oh yeah, no, this is what what's coming, I, right? What am I gonna do? I don't know how. I don't know how you turned it into this. You made it more stable. Yeah, I mean, you made it way better looking, more functional. 
She whiz. Lisa's been walking around. I'm surprised she hasn't tripped yet. <laughs> Trying to walk and film with all these people and all these obstacles in the way. Hopefully you enjoyed this little behind the scenes tours, the POV of what it's like to be here on the show floor. Uh, it's super exciting to see that it's pretty much in full swing again. And uh, hopefully we can keep coming back year after year to show you guys the latest in the tech space. How's it going, baby? We are walking so freaking much. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. My name's Greg. Her name's Lisa. My, my camera skills are legit. Let's go through the MRT. Scan that card. Oh yeah. And thanks for thanks for exploring with us. That oh, that too. Oh, yeah, okay. we nailed it. Sorry. Nice. Nice. <laughs>